This is day two of the rock dust germination trial. The three columns to the right are the bok choy, and these two columns are the peppers. And I don't know if you can see, but there's already some germination happening. I see some seedlings coming up in this one, this one, and this one. This is the test group. The pots on the bottom are the bok choy. And the pots on the top are peppers and I'm looking but I do not see any seedlings. This is the morning of day three. This is the control group and on the right these are all the bok choy and you can see in all the pots we have some seedlings coming out. On the other hand this is the test group with the rock dust and these four are the bok choy and out of four only this one I see something coming up. I'm not really sure what's going on it's there's a clear difference in the rate or how quickly the the seeds are germinating. This is day 10 of the rock dust trial. I just want to focus on the pepper pots and to your left, we have two columns of peppers in the control group, and to your right, I have one column of pepper plants in the test rock dust. And you can see clearly there's a difference. Whereas in the controls, you have all the pots with some seedlings. On the other hand, in the test, only the middle two have some seedlings coming up. So it's been really interesting. Um, the bok choy was also delayed by a day. So I'm not really sure what's going on, but this is what I think. To the left, we have the control, and on the right, we have the test. And I'm gonna squeeze it a little bit. And I don't know if you can tell, but when you feel it, you can clearly feel the difference between the texture of the two soil. The test soil is a lot stiffer compared to the control. I think what's happening is that the granular rock dust is held together by molasses. And so perhaps the molasses is making the soil more sticky. So the seedlings are having a hard time getting through the thicker soil because that's the only difference I can tell just from sort of feeling and observing the two different soil. The amount of moisture it retains is the same and I water it the same time. I switch it around on the heat mat so it gets the same distribution of heat. So I'm not really sure what's going on but definitely in the peppers and also in the bok choy, you can tell that there's a difference in how fast the seedlings are coming up. This is day 10 of the bok choy. To the left I have the control and to the right I have the test. And all the seeds have come up in all the pots. There is one measurement I have to drop from the study and that is days to first tree leaf. And that's because I don't know when to count the day at which the first leaf come out. In this seedling, you can clearly see that there's a true leaf right there because it's quite big. But this one also, I think, has started to grow its first true leaf. There's a little nub right in the middle. So it's really difficult to capture exactly the day at which the true leaves form. It's not very accurate and it's really difficult to record, so I'm gonna take that measurement out, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. 